Oh, oh, well, sorry, not used to using the new webcam yet. I just got it. So you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in the dark in my room. Well, my camera's being, uh, really weird. So whenever I turn on my little overhead light that's up there, somewhere up in that area, I get this giant white blotch on my face, and it looks really, really dumb. And, like, I look retarded. But I kind of look retarded right now, don't you think, you know? Yeah, it's been a really lazy Saturday, you know? I haven't even straightened my hair. It's not supposed to curl like that. It's going to be like straightening it when I got out of the shower. All right. So, yeah, sitting in the room, in my room, you know, it's dark. My parents are out. I'm home alone. Started watching some Shane Dawson videos, and I decided that I would, you know, video response to some of them. Yeah, the reason there's a changing little color is because the volume's down on my TV. It's the only thing I could leave on that you'd be actually be able to see me. I'm watching Super Agent Cody Banks because I have no life, and my mom took back Jimmy Neutron, so yeah, I really have nothing else better to do. So the first thing that I'm doing a video response to is Shane Dawson's video um, about commenting or video responsing to being in the hospital and I can totally relate to that because growing up when I was starting maybe when I was I don't know three I I was in the hospital a lot growing up basically I was always dehydrated for some reason and I'm not really sure why but I remember I would always be just like puking my brains out and then I'd end up in the hospital I don't know Probably one of the worst, well, the second worst thing that happened to me when I was in the hospital was I had to get my tonsils taken out. Well, it was my tonsils and my adenoids. I don't even know where your adenoids are. I don't know why I pointed to my ears, but I remember it had something to do with that. So, yeah, basically I couldn't really eat anything because I had, like, grapefruit tonsils. Like, they were swollen to the point where I couldn't swallow anything. And so they decided... I was I was three, okay? It's pretty terrifying to be in the hospital at three years old having no idea what they're trying to do to you. So, yeah, I just remember being in the hospital. The last thing I remember from being in the hospital was, you know, if you've ever had surgery, they give you the anesthesia. Um, I remember that they let me pick the color, uh, the not the color, the like the scent or the flavor of the little thing that goes over your mouth. And I remember I picked cherry. Well, it was... It was red. It was like chapstick. It was some red chapstick color. And it was like either cherry or watermelon or strawberry, something along the lines of that. And I took my Scooby-Doo doll into the operation room. And I remember I got him for my birthday and he could talk. And they put like a little cap over him. It was really cute. Um, the one thing that I've always hated was they tell you to count backwards from 100. And it's always really just kind of made me mad because, you know, you're determined to count backwards from 100 and actually make it. And you're like, 100, 99, 98. By the time you hit 98 or 97, you're asleep. And I think I got to 98, and then I fell asleep. And that's about the last thing I remember. And I remember waking up and being able to eat, like, a billion popsicles because I couldn't talk. Um, the second worst thing that happened to me in the hospital was I got pneumonia shortly after my fourth birthday which really was no fun at all. Uh, I was, I had lots of, I don't remember any of this. I do remember that my neighbor had to get, take us, me and my mom to the hospital because my dad was out of town and all that other fun stuff. So my neighbor had to drive us to the hospital and I remember them putting an IV in my arm and that's about as much as I remember, but my mom was telling me stories that I, they tested giving me blood tests like every day and you kind of think that like well, I'm 14 and I'm afraid of needles and you think with all those tests you know I'd be able to toughen up to a needle but I can't needles absolutely just terrify me to death and I hate how you can't see my hands you see never mind I'm getting off topic here so uh yeah I'm you know it was actually, I think that was pretty scary for me. I remember crying the whole time I was there. And I was in there for a really long time. I remember, oh, God, that was, I was in there forever. Or that, maybe that was when, no, it wasn't when I got my tonsils taken out. 
Was, no, it wasn't. Never mind. Uh, I'm going on here. But I was in there for a while. And the best thing about the hospital that I remember every time I went, I'd go to Children's Hospital. You know, it's a big fancy place. I've been there way too many times. Um, like in their main lobby where they have like this gift shop, um, one of the things that they have is like this giant marble maze kind of thing. And it's really big and it has all these contraptions and it goes off and it has all these little marble kind of things. They're really big. They're like that big. I don't know. And it just sets off all these little traps and you just get to watch them all one by one. And I remember it would be like, I'd be sitting down there and there'd be a bunch of other sick kids in little wagons and we'd all just sit there and watch it just so amazed. Like, I sit, that's where I spent most of my day. I'd just sit there for hours and hours on end just watching it. And that, that was really creepy. It scared me for a second. I thought my TV turned off. It, it's been doing that all day. I don't know why. So... Yeah, that's pretty much my experiences in the hospital. I've been there one too many times. My parents have always told me that I was a really expensive child because there's always something wrong with me. Like, I've been dehydrated, I've got pneumonia, had to get my tonsils taken out, I've had to wear a cast, sprained my ankle eight times, uh, stress fracture in my shin, uh, had physical therapy done, I had a whole bunch of things wrong with me. Uh, but, you know, I guess that's what makes me me. I don't know. So, that's about it. Um, if you guys have an experience in the hospital, then I will put a link. The link will be in the little sidebar that always appears over here to Shane Dawson's video. And you can leave a video or a comment there telling him about your experience in the hospital. Or you can just make a little chat down there about your experiences because no one ever comments me anymore. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to steal Shane's thunder. Ha ha. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, Shane. You're awesome. I love you. You're, you're my afternoon hero. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it. Expect to see more video responses to him because I, you know, Saturday, I'm bored as heck over here. I'm not going to swear because my parents actually can get on my YouTube account and they'll be all like, why are you swearing? I'll be like, eh, you know, I'm 14. I can do whatever I want. Not really. Alright, well, I'm out and I will talk to you guys later.